All right, Bola Buddies, here we are at the Goodwill Bins, one of my favorite places to source. And of course, I bought this plush right off the bat. Look at this little moo cow. How cute is he? Just a nice little bread and butter to start my Goodwill Bins trip. Let me know down in the comments, do you source plush? And we are going to get started here. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, so I like to start the video out by saying I am looking forward to hearing what you guys would have picked up that I missed. So I'm going to ask you to participate in this video. As I'm digging through the bins, if you see something that I missed that you would have picked up, can you time stamp it in the comments and let me know what it was and why you would have picked it up? It can be it's a big money bolo, or it can just be something that's bread and butter that you like to source. Anything that's gonna be educational, that's gonna help me learn and help everybody watching learn. So I encourage everybody that's watching to go back down to the comments after you watch the show and check out what everybody has posted. And then you can go back and look at those timestamps so that you can learn about different bolo items that we may not know about that somebody else knows about. So we are digging, digging, digging. I enjoy toys. If you guys are new here, I will pick up the small toys. Um, I list a lot of them individually, as you're going to see. I usually find like a bucket or a small tote, and I put that in the top of my cart, and then I just grab those small toys. I think that was a Roblox. I have not listed that yet. Haven't decided if I'm going to list her separately or put her with something else. But as for now, that one is not listed. What you're gonna see are screenshots of items that I have listed on eBay. What I try to do is get everything listed so that I can pop up those screen shares just like I'm about to do right here. And I did put batteries in that to make sure it works. And in the picture, I showed that it was lit up. Uh, typically, I take my batteries out and I put batteries not included in my listing. I think it's important to put batteries not included so that the buyer doesn't have the expectation that they're gonna get batteries and be disappointed. All right, I do a lot of items that are animated and stuff like that. So I'm thinking there were a lot of good markers here and these dry erase markers, I think those are dry erase markers, are really good for removing marker from plastic objects. I probably should have grabbed some of those. This little jewelry box, I did grab it. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe the condition was bad in that. There was another day that I went and I grabbed a couple jewelry boxes. Vintage jewelry boxes can be great. Um, just for packaging material, number one, if you want to give just like a cool presentation. But some of them are actually worth money. Um, I'll pick them up if they're in good shape. I have one I think that's shaped like a clam shell that I picked up uh, that I still need to list. It's in a bag somewhere. So I'm finally getting caught up on my Goodwill Benz videos. And this is a PJ Masks. I always pick those up. Most of them are long tail, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I like to try to find the vehicles and then add a couple characters to it to uh, make my listing stand out. You can sell the items individually. Uh, they will sell, but again, very long tail typically for a lot of those items because they are flooded on eBay. Another good idea to do if things are flooded on eBay is to cross post your items to maybe a platform that doesn't have as many items available in that category. Um, I choose Poshmark and Mercari for my other platforms that I sell on. I start my items on eBay because that is my main platform and then I cross post with List Perfectly to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, List Perfectly is awesome and it's so easy to use. I've been using it since 2019, but I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about it. I do have a video down in the description. If you watch that, it'll show you how to cross post just from eBay to the other platforms. And it will also show you how to use the catalog and give you some other details directly from List Perfectly. So be sure to check that out. Um, even if you've been using List Perfectly for a while, if you watch the end of that video, there's some tips and tricks for using it. I did pick up this little lion, uh, little people, and it sold really quick for $9 plus shipping. And when I say really quick, it sold within a month. 
Um, if you decide you want to try List Perfectly, I do have a coupon referral code. It is Bolo Buddies, all one word. That will get you 30% off your first month. And uh, just check out the video. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But I definitely recommend getting more eyes on your items with different platforms. This little poodle sold super quick for $17 plus shipping. I knew when I picked that up that that was going to be a hot seller. I don't know. I mean, it's a purple poodle. Everybody wants a purple poodle, right? So, so cute. It was super cute. All right, we're gonna keep digging here. So right off the bat, a couple sales. Those items sold really quickly. Does that happen all the time? No, I am typically a long tail reseller. That means that I list it and I forget it. These are Mr. Potato Head Kids. I pulled out a whole bunch of those. I think they're McDonald's toys, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you rewind and look at the listing, I did do research, but I can't remember right now if it was McDonald's or something else but I found a whole bunch of them. So I just listed those in a lot. I feel like McDonald's toys do better when you lot them up. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Some of them you can sell individually, but um, some other McDonald's toys that do well are the little transformers, the vintage transformers. If you see those, definitely pick them up. Those still have some value. Uh, the chicken McNuggets uh, that you dress, those do really well. Actually, um, there's a video I have out that it was uh, a day at the bins and it was just full of McDonald's toys and dad planet was on one side of the bin and I was on the other side and I was digging for the transformers and he was digging for the nuggets and um, we both did pretty well and uh, we both sold our items really quickly. So check out that Goodwill Bins video. It says something like we were fighting over these or something like that. Um, but it actually is just kind of a fun video talking about um, McDonald's toys and which ones to look for. Uh, Rachel Strickland recently won and uh, it was at an auction, I do believe, thousands of McDonald's toys and she's taking those over to Whatnot. So if you guys are into McDonald's toys, definitely follow Rachel Strickland on Whatnot. She also has an incredible YouTube channel um, where she has reseller content. So I will link her down below. What is Whatnot? Whatnot is a live selling site. So basically, if you're not selling on Whatnot and you're looking for another platform, it is a super fun way to sell. I do have a seller referral link. So if you're thinking about selling over there, if you use my referral link, there um, may be a better chance of you getting accepted quicker. It does ask you to take photos or do a video of your inventory. Definitely do that. That's really an important step. Um, but if you're not on Whatnot as a buyer or a seller, I do have a referral link down below where you'll get $15 to shop. That's free money. Go down there and join Whatnot. So like I said, it's um, a lot of people haven't heard about it and it's basically auction style live selling. So the person is in front of the camera selling you their stuff and you bid on it. And it's super, super fun to watch and also um, sell. So definitely, definitely something to consider if you haven't already. It's a way to move inventory quick. Are you going to get as much money for your items? Probably not, you know, and in the beginning you have to build your following just like anything else. But um, it's also a place you can source. Uh, you have to do, be patient. You do have to watch the shows and wait for somebody to list something at a low price auction style and you have to win it at a low price. But there was one person that bought something for $20 and sold it for just shy of a thousand. And I have a video on that. So they bought it on whatnot and sold it for almost a thousand dollars. Just incredible. So definitely check out that video of mine. You can type in Bolo Buddies Whatnot to find it um, in the YouTube search. And be sure to follow me over there. I have been tinkering around with the Buy It Now section and kind of using Whatnot as a marketplace. And I had somebody actually buy a cabbage patch from me um, over there, which was pretty cool. And I'm keeping my prices low on my buy it now section because I'm trying to build my following. So you may be able to snag a little deal over there. All right. I did pick up some of these Barbies and all these Disney dolls. I'm probably going to lot them up. I don't normally pick them up, but for some reason today I was like, I'm going to try it. Uh, I talked about this in another video. I sold some on Poshmark. It was a lot of Barbies to somebody who um, buys them, fixes them up, and puts outfits on them. 
and sells them on Poshmark and she does really well. So she sources them from other people. So, you know, there is a market. You just, it's, it's probably going to be long tail and you're probably not going to make a lot of money. So do I recommend picking up these naked dolls? Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know what I was thinking today. <laughs> I don't even know if I ended up keeping them because I haven't listed them yet. So I may have thrown them back in the bin. <laughs> they definitely were not in my, uh, well, I don't think so. I have to go and pull all my screenshots and I don't think I had any of those listed. So I do have other ones listed from other times that I have uh, sourced. So a viewer sent me a box, a mystery box, and it was full of Barbies and clothes and accessories. And it was incredible. And I have a video and unboxing of that. And I've sold quite a few items already, but that was where one of the bundles sold from, uh, from that lot. And it kind of opened up my eyes to, okay, I can sell these, you know, even if they don't have clothes, even if they're not in great condition, people will buy them and fix them up. And that's the modern ones as well, not just the old uh, vintage ones. But it was a really fun lot. So if you guys like unboxing videos, it was a huge box stuffed full and I parted out a lot of the items. All right, I did put this in my cart and I decided to throw it back. I did grab this right here. It is Melissa and Doug and it had these horses in it. And I actually found a bunch of the other horses and thankfully I did get the container so I knew they were Melissa and Doug. I was able to look it up. Unfortunately, the container was not in great shape, so I paid a little more than I would have liked to. I should have left the container behind. But either way, I donated the container. It wasn't horrible, but it just wasn't worth listing. You can see I'm finding a bunch of vintage postcards. This would be called ephemera, and definitely going to pick that up because it's super lightweight. So I went ahead and grabbed all of these... Um, ephemera items. I didn't grab that stuff. I don't know what that goes to. If it's like a learning activity thing or what, maybe I should have looked it up. Sometimes those educational uh, replacement tools can do well, but I left that behind. I will pick up um, just paper like that, not that exact one, but just lined paper and little booklets. They count as media and it's 59 cents a pound for media at our Goodwill bins. And I use those to take notes for my videos. So um, always pick those up if I can get them cheap. Uh, not like anything. I mean, I could probably go to the dollar store and pick them up as well. All right, we are gonna keep digging here. Here's some hair breadths. I did pick those up. I, I can't see what's in the bag. So I can't remember if I've listed those or not. But vintage hair things can do really well. If you can find the ones that say made in France, definitely pick those up. Um, I do look inside tins, I look inside bags, I look inside sunglass cases, always look inside things. There's some more postcards. So for now, I'm just holding on to those until I have time to either go through them or I'm going to lot them up. I really don't know yet. I don't do a lot of individual ephemera. I know a lot of people do and do really well with it. A lot of times it's bread and butter, but there are some that are high dollar that can go for big money. Like if you can find vintage Halloween postcards, those can do really well. This is what I'm talking about, the paper. Um, so I probably grabbed that one. I think I did. Um, I have like a stack. I need to stop buying them because I'm like, oh, I can use that. Uh, those were a part of the Pampered Chef, but again, I threw that back. That was pretty cool. I probably should have picked that up, you know, just to uh, maybe sell it. People uh, like those for journaling or junk journaling. I left it behind. Would you guys have grabbed it? I look forward to seeing what you guys put down in the comments as far as things that you would have picked up. So there were some more of those horses and those horses sold really quickly. Um, that was a super fast sale. So you just never know. Some things are going to sell fast. Some things are going to sell slow. It depends how you price your items. I'm typically not the lowest price on eBay. I have a tendency to price my items on the higher end. I run sales. I send offers. And I definitely accept offers. I would say most of my items sell with best offer option. I did pick up that little car and I've got it sitting to the side in a bag. I'm probably gonna lot it with something else. And I'm right now I probably have about 10 Ziploc bags that I'm just filling with like items. 
and I'm going to see about maybe making a toy box or putting like the Disney items together and selling those. And I'm not sure what was in those tubes, but I just watched a video that um, Double T's Treasure sent me uh, for This Is My Bolo about selling something and it was unexpected. So if you have not seen my This Is My Bolo videos, oh my goodness, you got to check them out. Uh, basically, what I do is I invite my Bolo Buddies members. Um, I have memberships on my channel, so people can join if they have a YouTube channel or an eBay store that they're trying to get some attention to. And basically, they join memberships for perks. And at level two, I do Bolo videos where they get to share a Bolo, and then I shout out their YouTube channel or their eBay store. But I also do this thing called This Is My Bolo. And my members send me a 60 second video talking about a Bolo item they sold. And it's just super fun to get to see other resellers in the community on a video all together sharing a Bolo item. So search Bolo Buddies, this is my Bolo. And there's a whole bunch of those videos and you will definitely learn because these members are Bolo finders. All right, Duplo Legos right here, bam. I used to leave these behind. I'd only get the small Legos, but I have been doing really well with the Duplos. So there's different sizes. There's like, I think the really big ones that are for little kids, I don't pick those up. And then the Duplos I think are more for toddlers. And again, I do pretty well with them. So I'm basically filling this basket with all of the Duplos and you guys saw my listing. And then the mini like tiny Legos, I also pick those up and I just throw them in a tote for now and I will list them eventually. So I was definitely checking out that, but decided to leave it behind. I'm sitting here drinking my morning coffee and doing this voiceover. So this video is about 35 minutes long. So you guys are gonna see me dig for 35 minutes. I left in all the footage. A lot of times in my older Ben's videos, I would cut out a lot of the footage. And I asked you guys what you wanted and most of you said you like the longer videos. So I try to keep them anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes. And um, usually when I go to the Ben's, I am there when they open and I usually stay anywhere between four and five hours. So a lot of times I will get two videos each time I go because I just have so much stuff. Showing you some of the stuff in my cart. Um, that was a Beanie Boo. I picked up a bunch of Beanie Boos that day um, and I decided to lot those up. Now, I do have a video on Beanie Boos. I call those my category videos. That's where I do a deep dive research into a category and I'm telling you, some of the Beanie Boos can go for crazy money. Um, but most of them are bread and butter. So I just picked up every single Beanie Boo I saw just in case, threw it in my cart. And if you noticed, I put probably 10 together and somebody will buy those as a lot. So I went ahead and lotted those up. Uh, through that research video, I talk about different ones that sell for big money. And I actually had one of my members, uh, Stellar Seller Sam, who found one of the Beanie Boos after she watched my video and sold it for over $100. So just really, really cool that uh, people can watch your video and then go find the items. I love it. I love it so much. So thank you guys so much for being here and thank you for watching. One thing that I've also noticed is Plush does almost sometimes better on Mercari. I did a Build-A-Bear, a big money Build-A-Bear video, and I did a comparison between eBay and Mercari. And what I found will probably surprise you. A lot of those plush sold for quite a bit more on Mercari. So if you guys sell plush, definitely think about Mercari. Uh, this is a lovey. I always pick up loveys. They are, you know, they sell well. Now, a lot of them are long tail, but some of them just fly out of my store because a lot of times people are just looking for those. They're easy to identify with Google Lens and um, usually a good selling item. So I was talking about selling plush on Mercari. I do have a link down below. It's a referral link. So if you guys are interested in checking out Mercari or Poshmark 
On Poshmark, you get $10 to shop if you use my link. And on Mercari, you get $10 to shop when you join with my referral link down below. And if you sell $20 worth of, I'm sorry, if you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're gonna get an extra $20 to shop on Mercari. And what I typically do is I use my referral money to buy stuff to resell. So you guys can use that 30 bucks, buy something on Mercari to flip and make even more money. I did pick up this. It's just a uh, bread and butter item. One thing I don't like about it is there's no battery compartment. So once the batteries are gone, you would probably have to unstitch it and if you want to uh, put batteries in it. Picked up this little vintage koala as well. I love little vintage stuffed animals. Super cute, uh, realistic looking uh, plush does pretty well. Again, you guys, please don't watch this and think that all plush sells super fast. A lot of the plush is gonna sit. It takes up a lot of space. Um, I think people watch YouTubers talk about selling plush and they run out and they buy a whole bunch and they're like, it's not selling. Yes, it probably won't sell fast. Um, a lot of it sits for a long time, but I'm a patient reseller. I did pick up that little VTech uh, Daisy uh, car and those do okay. That's another long tail item. Like I said, I'm long tail. I'm okay with my items sitting. I put them in a tote, I list it, and I forget it. Um, that is what I do. I have been trying to refresh some of my items that have been listed for a little while. I did that the other day with a Taco Bell toy, and it actually sold within a month of me relisting it. I did pick up that doorknob, and um, I've got that listed down in my eBay store. And when I say it sold within a month of relisting it, that item had probably been in my store for five to seven years. These little uh, wood blocks have magnets in them. And I always pick up anything that is magnet based. Uh, they're educational toys for kids. And I have a whole tote full. And eventually I'm going to sort those into like categories because there are so many different styles of those magnets. So I'm building my lots right now. A lot of times I'll find like three or four. Sometimes I'll find 20. Sometimes I'll find one, but I always pick them up and then just throw them in a tote. And just like my Legos, same thing with those. Legos, stickers, um, and magnets. That's three things that I source at the bins and I just kind of hang on to that I will eventually get to. Um, we are gonna keep digging here. Are you guys seeing things that I missed? Are you screaming at your TV or your iPhone or your iPad? Let me know down in the comments. I thought I picked that up, but I haven't listed that yet. And I thought I picked that up as well. So, you know, there might be a bag somewhere that has a few items that I haven't got to yet. So I apologize for that. Or I threw the items back in, but I really feel like I grabbed those two items. All right, we are gonna dig here into this right is another item that I have not listed yet. It's vintage. I think those are Power Puff Girls and they are um, window decals. And those were vintage. I think those will do okay. I just need to get them listed. And another item that was talked about in This Is My Bolo was by Nina's Jewels. And they talked about window decals, but their story is a little bit different. So that will be in the most recent This Is My Bolo as well. Lots of great bolos were shared over there um, during that video, but the uh, one that was shared last time had a lot of great bolos as well. Always, always learning from other resellers. I did pick this up. Anything vintage that is a raft or a pool float, I definitely pick those up. I just did a recent video of somebody that listed one and it sold for almost $1,000. So you guys definitely want to go watch my featured members what sold videos because these resellers in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, when they share their bolos, they are bringing the best. And I put those into video format and it is a great way to learn. So um, usually in the thumbnail, it will say at the bottom, featured members share big money bolos. That's a good way to find them if you go to my YouTube channel and just kind of look through my available content. But lots of what sold videos, lots of category videos. My channel is basically teaching you what to look for, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. 
So if you're new here, thank you for being here. If you've been here a while, thanks for coming back. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know how you found the channel. And let me know if you like this style of Ben's video. I know there's a lot of people out there that do Goodwill Ben's videos. Two that I like to mention are A Rural Squirrel and Dumpster Diva. That is the main focus of their channels are Goodwill Ben's videos. And they find some incredible items. So definitely go and sub those ladies up. All of these channels I'm mentioning will be linked down below. But we all have our own unique style. I do a voiceover and I pop up how I listed everything. Dumpster Diva talks to you while she's at the bins and shows you a haul at the end. And um, a rural squirrel does challenges with other YouTubers. So she usually meets somebody at the bins and they have some sort of challenge to see who can find the best item. And she also does a small haul of what she got. So definitely check out both of those ladies. They're both, they have great content. So we're gonna keep digging here. And what's this? Nope, didn't get that. Um, always picking up those small toys. Do you guys source toys? Let me know down in the comments. A lot of people won't because they're usually bread and butter. But I've gotten 15 to $25 out of small toys. And they're so lightweight that you can bundle them. You can put five or six together and sell them in small lots. And it's just a great... Um, it's a great extra and they're easy to ship. That's one thing that I say about toys. I like them because they are cheap. I can find them at the bins. I can find them at garage sales. I can find them sometimes even at estate sales. And I can usually pick them up cheap and flip them for a nice profit. Do you guys pick up those shoe things to put inside shoes? I see them all the time and I feel like they're kind of heavy. So I leave them behind but I would love you guys' feedback on that because I know a lot of them are um, vintage and they may have some value. It may be something that I'm looking over that I should be grabbing. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Lots of people, lots of people, especially when they bring out a new bin. And if you've never been to the Goodwill bins, I will warn you, the first time I went, I got in trouble because I didn't realize when they push out the bin that you're not allowed to touch it until they walk away and say, go. <laughs> and I was like, I had my hands in there and they're like, no, stop it. You can't do that. And I'm like, huh? So let me know if you've ever been bins busted. <laughs> it's an awful feeling. It's so embarrassing. Uh, I like to tell people now, if I see them going to grab, I'm like, wait, 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 you're going to get in trouble. Um, I do it in a nice way. You know, I don't want anybody to think I'm trying to boss them around or tell them what to do, but they will yell at you. They'll tell you, hey, get your hands out of there. We haven't, you know, they're, they're trying to get the carts um, in place. They have to lock them. And if we're digging before it's time, that's really probably pretty frustrating for them because they need to do their jobs and make it safe for us to dig without the items rolling around or the bins rolling around. So um, the, the people that work at our bins are fantastic, super nice. I mean, really, they are. They always are really nice. I always say hello to them and I thank them. So you, you know, thank them. They're working hard. Uh, they're bringing out those bins and they're filling them and that's hard work. So uh, just say thank you as they're walking away. It's really simple to do and I'm sure that they really appreciate that. Everybody likes a thank you, you know? All right, let's see what else we can find here. That plush, whoo, not grabbing that one. If a lot of times with white plush, I'll just skip them because they are dirty and I do not want to clean them. Now, if it's a big money bolo, I'll probably grab it and take the time to do that. But a lot of times I'll just leave anything that's white or cream behind. They will yellow. Pencil cases, I do check them. Um, I'm looking for Lisa Frank or vintage advertising, stuff like that. I did pick up this pen and I gave that to my husband. My husband likes those pens and pencils. So um, I did actually find something in that one, but that one is a hashtag keeper. I am... I thought I got that, uh, but I don't, I must not have. This is a little dinosaur. Again, small toys, pick them up. I don't want to leave them. I don't want them to go to the landfill. I just love little toys. So a lot of them are sitting in a tote that need to be listed. And I, I, they're just, I don't know. I can't help it. I can't leave them behind. You guys let me know in the comments. 
if you think I'm wasting my time. Those right there, I think the one was from The Incredibles and I maybe the other one was Monsters, Inc. I will probably lot those in a small lot of Disney toys. Also, if you see the ones that are small like that, you can put Cake Topper in the title and that may get you um, some extra views and possibly a sale on your item that you wouldn't have normally have gotten. A lot of times if people make cakes, they will uh, purchase those, wash them up, and put them on the cake as a cake topper. And then their kids can just play with the toys afterwards. This, I thought I bought it, but I can't find the listing. So I either haven't listed it yet or I put it back. I can't recall. So much stuff and so many hours at the bins. It's hard to remember sometimes what you buy and what you don't buy. I've got about five or six bags of stuff that I still need to list. So there are going to be a lot of Goodwill bins videos coming your way. So stay tuned. Sometimes I just get a lot of bread and butter. This video is mostly bread and butter. I have another video where I have already sold over $1,000 worth of stuff from one day at the bins. I just found a lot of bolos. Does that happen very often? No, but when it does, it is super exciting. And some of the items in that video, I had no idea they were bolos until I got home and I did some research. And even then I was like, I don't know, I'm gonna auction this one and see what happens. So I talk about that in another uh, Goodwill Bins video. So here's some more little toys that can be used as cake toppers. Uh, see how they have the base on those? Those are definitely great for cake toppers. Um, in the title. Here's some Sesame Street. I think I got that one. I can't remember. I have not listed it yet. It wasn't complete, but I just thought it was kind of cool. So kind of like an ephemera item. They're vintage, old coloring books, stuff like that. Those I left behind. Maybe I should have grabbed them. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And a little toy. Uh, again, identifying some of those small toys is tough. I do use Google Lens. Google Lens is free. I have a video on it. Type Bolo Buddies Google Lens into the YouTube search. You can pull that video up. I will show you how to use Google Lens. It is free. It is a free tool that every reseller should have on their phone. I'm telling you, I use it all the time. A lot of times you can scan it and uh, like scan an item and it's going to take you to the different platforms the item's listed on. It'll also show, show you worth point listings. If you guys don't have worth point, I highly recommend it. It took me a long time to get it because it's kind of pricey, um, but I do have a referral link down below if that's something you're interested in. It will help you make more money on your items because you'll be able to research and know the value of those items that you can't find on eBay in the sold section. Uh, Terra Peak is a great free tool that you can use, but uh, Worth Point, it has made me a lot of money. You can search Bolo Buddies Worth Point to see how I use Worth Point to make extra bucks, extra money. Um, I do believe in investing in my business. I don't use a whole lot of things. I don't tell you guys about a whole lot of things. I only talk about the things I use, and I do have all of those things linked down in the description if you want to check them out. And most of those are referral links, but they are things that I use. It's not just stuff that I have a referral link for it, but I don't use it. I use these things that I talk about. So, all right, you guys, we are getting near the end of this video. I just want to say thank you again. Um, I think I got that little thing. Did I pop up a screenshot, that little plush? I can't remember what it was called. I think I listed that. Um, again, thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. If you posted something down in the comments, a timestamp, thank you so much. Uh, let me know again in the description how you found the channel. Leave me an emoji of something. If you don't have really anything that you saw that you would have picked up, just tell me how you found the channel or leave me an emoji. Just leave me a comment. That definitely helps me in the algorithm. If you want to share the video out, that would be awesome. And hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you have any uh, constructive cr criticism <laughs> or feedback, feel free to put that down below too. I don't mind if you guys give me uh, feedback on maybe something, a preference you have um, or something like that. But so far, this is how I have chosen to do my Goodwill Benz videos. And I hope you liked it. And I hope you will watch another one and check out some of my other What Sold videos. So thank you all again so much and I will see you at the next one and I'm just gonna do a little more digging here and this video is going to end here in about one minute. So thanks again for watching.
All right, I'm gonna add some sound uh, for the Goodwill bin. So if you've never been there, this is what it sounds like. Uh, you guys let me know if you like hearing the videos with the sound in them. Okay, there's a few more items that I do pick up before the end of the video, so stay tuned, but I'm just gonna let you guys listen to the sound. You'll see a few screenshots and watch me dig for about, I don't know, another minute or so. Thanks for watching.